Hi, this is Scott Dudley, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to add a calculated field in Looker Studio. So we're going to use this table down the bottom here as an example. So as you can see, we've got three fields currently. There's a dimension for browser, and there's a couple of metrics for new users and returning users. If I just uh, resize that fit to data, there we go. We can see that nicely. So let's say, for example, we wanted to create a new field which added together the new users plus the returning users to make up a new field called total users, which is a calculated field. So to do that, we need to come across here on the right hand side under metric and we would click on add metric uh, underneath these uh, existing metrics. So click on add metric and then down the bottom here, there's an option to create a field. And then we need to name the field, so let's call it total users. And then in here we need the formula. So basically what we're going to do here is just find new users and then add that to returning users. So if I type in new, you'll see that new users comes up here, it recognizes that as a field. And then we put in the plus sign here. And then I type in returning users and it finds that one as well. And you can see the green check or tick here that um, lets you know that this formula uh, is acceptable. So keep in mind that it doesn't have to be uh, addition. You can also use multiplication. You can take away, you can use division. Any sort of basic calculation you can do in here between two fields. So if I just press enter, or we'll click out of here and then if I open this up so that fit the data you'll see that it has calculated the total users by adding together the new users and returning users so 3 plus 4 is 7 2 plus 2 is 4 and so on and so forth and then obviously if you wanted to you could sort this by total users in, a, in descending order, which it, it is actually already sorted that way. But if you wanted to do that, you would come down here to uh, sort. And then instead of returning users, you would change it to total users. Which it's got new field in there, but that's because we've just added that new field. But anyway, it's the same result. It has sorted that descending order by total users. So pretty straightforward. There obviously are a lot more complicated formulas that you can set up, but that's a pretty simple one just to show for this example. So hopefully that helps. If you've got any questions, just let me know in the comments.